everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being here and practicing with me today. My name is Daniela. If you are new to my channel, and thank you, thank you everyone for deciding to practice with me today. If you have your yoga mats, let's begin our practice today. Coming into your hands and knees. Before we begin, I forgot to mention, maybe you will need a block in the strap today. Just have it nearby, just in case. And again, coming hands and knees, we will start in a child's pose, so separating knees as wide as the mat. Big toes touching, sit on your heels and exhale, forehead on the ground. Just taking a couple of breaths here, resting your arms, upper arms, lower arms on the mat, and relaxing the shoulders, using the block under the forehead if the floor seems to be too far. Sit heavy on your heels, releasing all the tension out of your body, and breathing. Just a couple of breaths here before beginning our practice. This practice, it happens to be around the new moon. So this is a great time for inner work and maybe your intention for today's practice. It could be a question, what do I truly want to attract in my life? Know that you always attract. You do not have to chase anything, but you can attract. So what do you really want to attract in your life? What do you really want? What does your heart and soul really want? It's a great time to plant the seeds for a beautiful future. So once you have the answer to that question, then just plant the seeds. And literally you can plant the seeds in the ground somewhere and let it grow and build up into that desire of yours and the same way that plant or tree you plant will grow the same way your desire will turn into reality so you will be just taking care of it water it every day making sure it gets enough sunlight but make sure you're not sitting next to it and watch it grow just plant it send it love every day and wait for it to germinate I also recommend that you take a meditation maybe after this practice and you don't have to look for a guided meditation. You can just sit either in Shavasana or meditation pose and keep asking yourself that question. What do I truly want to attract in my life? Knowing you are the only one who have the answer to the question. The answer to this question is right deep within you. So this could be your meditation, intention, and question during your practice and after the yoga asana practice. Take two more breaths here with me. Being completely relaxed in the upper body, jaws. One more breath here. Beautiful. Now from your child's pose, roll yourself up to seating on your heels, rounding in your spine. So bring the chin to chest and opening your upper body. Just roll yourself all the way up, bringing the hands on your knees, rounding into that spine, exhaling maybe out of the mouth. <sighs> and inhaling, bring the heart forward and up. Just a few cat and cows in seated. Exhaling again, round your spine, extending the arms. When you do that, and on the inhale, maybe bending the elbows, making sure your arms remain soft all the time. Chin up, and last one, exhale. And one more, inhale, heart forward, bend up, beautiful. Coming back to a neutral spinal, Resting the hands on your thighs, just make a few circles with the neck, bringing chin down, right ear, right shoulder, look up, left ear, left shoulder, keep the shoulders away from the ears. One more circle to the right, chin down, right, up, and left. The next time your chin reaches the chest, switch direction, move to the left, just for two times as well, on this side. Last one. And then coming back to 
to send make a fist with your hands and make a few circles with your wrist outside always keeping shoulders relaxed and inside beautiful release inhaling arms up shoulders away from this quick twist to the right left hand right knee right hand behind you chin and gaze turn towards the right shoulder collapsing in the back back to center arms up on the inhale exhale quick twist to the left left hand behind right hand on your left knee chin and gaze towards the left shoulder and back to center on the inhale bring the hands in front of you lifting yourself to a tabletop and just tap the feet at the back a little bit to release tension if there's any and then make a few circles with the ankles onto the outside and inside now coming back to your tabletop maybe keeping the hands slightly closer towards the knees than we normally do but make sure to spread the fingers just make a few circles on yourself moving towards the right forward left maybe all the way to the back again rounding the spine arching the spine or not just make a few circles in any way it feels good for you one more time and again, when next time you reach maybe towards your heels, switch direction, coming to the left at your own time. One more circle. Beautiful. And then back to stillness. Bring the hands forward, wrist under your shoulders, spreading fingers, moving into a first down facing. Tuck the toes in, knees up, inhale, and press back. Exhale, spread the fingers, bending knees one at a time, long neck, heavy head. We'll move slowly through the practice today. As I said, we are around new moon. So some practices like Ashtanga, they don't even practice yoga asana. We are around new moon, so we'll move slowly throughout our practice today. Beautiful, finding stillness in your downward facing dog, lengthening your upper body, sharpening sitting bones. Shoulders away from the ears, one more breath. And then gaze towards the top of your back, right foot steps in between, left knee down. Inhale to a low lunge. Open your heart to love, possibilities, abundance. Maybe looking up if the neck is okay. And exhaling again, try to open that heart forward and up, framing your right foot. Tuck the left toes in, extend to runners lunge and turn sideways on the mat. Feet parallel with each other, toes in, heels out. Exhale once again, making a frame for your head, holding opposite elbows. Just a breath or two here, making sure you're not fighting gravity, long neck, heavy head. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, release the hands. And inhaling once again, exhaling, turn to the back of the mat. Low lunge at the back of the mat. Right knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, your frame. Run is lunge once again. Turn back with the feet parallel to each other and all the way to the top of the mat. Left foot steps forward. Keep the feet one fist in between and exhale, you fold. Inhale, you rise all the way up. Press the four corners of the feet on the ground. Tailbow in, palms are touching. Maybe look up, roll the shoulders away from the then gazing forward, exhale towards the right. Give a nice stretch to the left side of the body. Maybe gazing left corner of the eye. Inhaling back to center. Do the same on the left. Exhale all the way to the left. Maybe gazing towards the right. Beautiful. Inhaling back to center. And exhaling you fold once again. Flat back on the inhale. Plant the hands down. Left foot stays. Right foot step back. Low lunge. Right knee. Down, inhale your arms. Exhale, you frame. Run your lunge, extend the right leg, turn towards the back of the mat with the feet parallel to each other, toes in, heels out, and exhale, fold. Once again, maybe either holding opposite elbows or bringing the palms down with the heels of your palms in line with your heels of your feet. Relaxing the shoulders, keeping the body weight equally, toes and hips. Just a breath here. And when you're ready, inhale halfway up. Exhale, back of the mat. Pivot the left heel up, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge towards the back of the mat. Rise and shine, look up. 
exhale, frame your right foot. Runners lunge once again, turn with the feet parallel to each other and all the way to the top of the mat. Stepping your right foot once again towards the top of the mat, keeping the feet hip apart and exhaling to forward. Flat back on the inhale, bring the hands in front of you and step the feet as wide as the mat, with the toes out, heels in, and sit low for a yogi squat. Bring the elbows inside your knees and lift your heart away from the ground. Relax the shoulders, just two breaths here. Garland pose, yogi squat. Beautiful, one last. Inhale again, exhale, hands down. Inhale, press yourself up. Bringing the feet back parallel with each other and exhale fold. Flat back on the inhale. Right foot stays left. Step back once again. Left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Arms up. Exhale fold. Runner's lunge. Extend the left leg. Turn again parallel with the feet parallel to each other. And this time, Fist finger around the big toes, inhaling for a flat back, exhaling, fold again, making sure you relax the shoulders, maybe bending elbows sideways, separating the feet wider if it's too much for you or shortening if you want to add some extra stretch there, long neck, heavy head, just the breath here. Mm. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, release the hands in front of you. Turn your toes out, heels in, bend both knees and press yourself to God is inhaling your arms up. Maybe looking up, exhaling, hands at the heart. Hold your goddess pose for just three breaths. Your inner hips roll to the outer hips, tailbone remains in, shoulders away from the ears. You're breathing, not holding tension in your jaws. Last breath here. Exhale, push to the heels, inhale, press to stand for a star pose. And exhale, feet are turning in again, parallel with each other and forward. Flat back on the inhale, turn to the back of the mat once again, runner's lunge. Right knee down, low lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhale, frame your left foot. Facing the back of the mat, tack the right toes in again, runner's lunge. Plant the hands down and shoot your left leg all the way back and up for a three-legged dog. Pressing the hands equally down. Step the left foot down. Inhaling your right leg back and up, three-legged dog. Right foot steps in between the hands, runner's lunge. Left hand stays down. Inhale there, exhale, right arm up and twist. Kick through the back heel, don't collapse the hips down. Look at your right hand only if the neck is okay. Exhale your right hand down. Inhale again and exhale, turn, turn again with the feet parallel to each other, keeping the right hand down, inhaling there, exhaling left arm up, twist towards the left, looking up at your left hand, if the neck is okay with you. One breath there, inhale and exhale again, left hand down. Inhaling and exhaling, turning to the top of the mat, you're going to stop the left foot back to a downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a breath here. And then when you are ready, inhale, come forward to a plank and on the exhale, lower yourself all the way down on the belly. Release the tops of the feet out, elbows in and inhale for a baby cobra. Press the tops of the feet into the ground. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure this is not hurting your lower back. Exhale, lower down. One more baby cobra on the inhale. Or maybe this time you can press a little bit more for a full Bujangasa cobra pose. Making sure none of this is hurting your lower back. Maybe squeezing glutes at the top can help. And exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, press yourself to a back bend of your choice, baby cobra, cobra, or maybe Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog, lifting the thighs off the ground, pressing your heart forward and up. Either way, whichever variation you choose, one last breath there. 
beautiful gazing down tuck the toes in inhale there exhale press back down or facing dog maybe open the mouth <sighs> exhale nice take a breath there and then when you are ready, gazing at the top of the mat, left foot steps in between, right knee down, low lunge. Once again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, frame. Runner's lunge. Turn to the side of the mat with the feet parallel to each other. Inhaling for a flat back. Exhaling, bring the hands at your heels and fold. Once again, maybe bending elbows sideways. If this is not okay, just do any of the other variation we did just before. Keeping a long neck, heavy head, distributing the body weight equally, toes and heels, separating the feet wider. If you feel like you need it or shortening the distance in between the feet. Beautiful. Inhale, come on up. Halfway up. Exhale, hands in front of you. Bring the toes out, heels in. Goddess pose once again. Inhaling to stand all the way to rise up. Exhaling, hands at the heart. Relaxing the shoulders, rolling inner hips to the outer hips, breathing in, two more breaths, keeping the tailbone in, bringing the body weight this time onto the outer edges of your feet. Last breath there. And when you're ready, pushing through the heels, press up to stand, come on up to a star pose. Exhaling, bring the toes in, heels out. Again, feet parallel to each other and fold. Flat back on the inhale. Turn to the back of the mat. Once again, left knee down, arms up. Inhale, low lunge, looking up. Only if the neck is okay. Exhaling, framing right foot. Tuck the left toes in if they're not there yet and shoot the right leg all the way back and up for a three-legged. Stepping the right foot down, downward facing dog. Inhaling left leg back and up, three-legged. Equally pressing the hands down, gazing in between your hands towards the back of the mat. Left foot steps in between. Right hand stays there. Kick through the back heel. Inhale there. Exhale, left arm up, looking up at your left hand. Only if the neck is okay. Don't collapse in the right shoulder. Press the ground away from you. Just the breath. Beautiful. Exhale your left hand down. Turning sideways on the mat once again. Left hand stays. Toes are in. Heels are up. Inhale there. Exhale. Right arm up. Beautiful. Again, you look up at your right hand. Only if the neck is okay with it. Exhaling. Hand down. Inhaling once again. Exhaling. Turn to the top of the mat and step the right foot back. Downward facing dog, spreading fingers, sharpening sitting bones. Inhaling, coming forward and once again, exhale, lower down all the way on the belly. Toes out, hands in line with the chest, elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale once again, maybe a little bit deeper, extending the arms a little bit more. Heart forward and up either way. Exhaling, lower down. Last one, choose any of these two, baby cobra or full cobra, or why not? Upward facing dog. Once again, bringing the shoulders away from the ears, heart forward and up. One breath here. And gazing down, tuck the toes in, inhale, and maybe side it out, open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's move one more time through this flow, slowly and with control, going around our mats in a mandala direction. Beautiful. When you're ready, gazing at the top, right foot steps in between, left knee down, low lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhaling, framing left foot. Runner's lunge, extend. Turn sideways on the mat with feet parallel to each other. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, peace finger around the big toes and fold. Just the breath, keeping the body weight equally, toes and heels, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release the hips. 
hands. Inhale once again and turn to the back of the mat. Low lunge at the back of the mat. Back heel, right heel, it's up. Right knee goes down. Inhale, arms up. Beautiful. Exhaling, framing again the left foot. Extending right leg for a run is lunge. Shooting the left leg all the way back and up. Three-legged hands are equally pressing down. Left foot step down, down or facing dog, you will be facing the back of your mat. Inhaling, right leg up, three legged dog. Right foot steps in between, keep the left knee up and left hand down, wrist under your shoulder. Inhaling down, exhaling, right arm up, not collapsing in the left shoulder. If this is too much, you can actually lower down your left knee. Still a twist, it's gonna be. Exhaling, right hand down, turning sideways on the mat. Feet are parallel to each other, heels out, toes in. Once again, inhale here, keeping your right hand down, exhaling, left arm up and twist. Looking up at your left hand, only if the neck is okay with it. Beautiful. One more breath, exhaling, left hand down. Inhale again. Exhale, turn to the back of the mat. Right foot steps at the top with one fist distance in between your feet and exhale forward. Flat back on the inhale. Plant the hands down. Left foot stays. Right foot step back and the right knee goes down. Inhaling for your low lunge. Arms up. Exhaling, framing left foot. Runner's lunge, extend the right leg, turn sideways on the mat. Exhale, maybe forward folding, this time bringing the hands behind your heels. As long as you keep the shoulders away from the ears, long neck, heavy head, any of the prasarita that works for you, it's okay. Piece finger around the big toes or holding again opposite elbows or palms down with the heels of your palms in line with the heels of your feet. One more breath there. And when you're ready, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale again, exhaling back of the mat, pivoting the left heel up and stepping the left knee down, reaching your arms up again, opening your heart and maybe looking up only if the neck is okay. Exhaling, framing that right foot. Runner's lunge, extending the left leg. Planting the hands down and shooting the right leg all the way back and up. Three-legged dog, hands equally pressing down. Step the right foot down. Inhaling left leg back and up. Three-legged dog. And then gazing in between your hands towards the back of the mat. Left foot steps in between the hands. Right hand stays there. Kick through that back heel. Don't collapse the hips down. And exhale your left arm up. Ah, letting go, looking up with your left hand, only if the neck, it's okay with it. Release the left hand down, turn sideways on the mat once again. And this time you're going to keep the left hand here, inhaling down, exhaling right arm up. Beautiful, looking up at your right hand, only if the neck, it's okay with it. And when you're ready, exhale that right hand down. Turning your toes out and heels in. Come back to a goddess bending knees. Inhale, press yourself up. And exhaling, hands at the heart. Stay for three breaths. Rolling inner hips to the outer hips. Keeping tailbone in. Relaxing your facial muscles. Just the breath. Or two. Making sure you are breathing. That's always the key to a yoga asana practice. Let the pranayama guide you, especially these days, very powerful days. Around the new moon, the time to plant the seeds for a beautiful future. Pushing through the heels, inhale, press yourself to a star pose and exhale again, bringing the Feet parallel, toes in, heels out, exhale forward. Flat back on the inhale, turn to the top of the mat and step the left foot at the top. 
Now, once again, you're going to bring the feet as wide as the mat, toes out, heels in, and sit low into a garland pose yogi squat with the elbows inside your knees. Just for two breaths here, relaxing the upper body, gently pressing elbows inside your knees. One last breath there. And when you're ready, release the hips. Inhale, come on up, stretching the legs, bringing the feet parallel to each other once again, and exhale forward. Flat back on the inhale, bend the knees, and you're going to go to sit all the way down. Beautiful, without collapsing or dropping. You're going to lean back on the mat and come into a happy baby pose, holding the outer edges of your feet or ankles or peace finger around the big toes again. Make sure your lower back stays down, neck and head are down. Just the breath here. Exhale. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet together and with control, without collapsing, release your feet down, knees down for a reclined butterfly. Maybe bringing the arms above the head, holding opposite elbows. Again, making sure that natural arch of the spine, it's not bothering you. So move your uh, hips or shoulder blades away from you or closer to you until you decompress. If there's any compression there, if it's any pain, just relaxing, maybe closing your eyes only for two, three breaths. Focusing on the breath again, relaxing the shoulders. One last. And then bring the hands under your knees. Help yourself to bring the feet on the ground with the knees bent and then bring the knees at the chest. Rock yourself from side to side. Just a breath or two. And then finding stillness. Bring the hands under your knees and rock yourself forward into a seated with the hands in front of you. Step back to a downward facing dog. Inhaling forward to a plank. Exhaling all the way on the belly once again. And this time you're going to bring your forehead down on the ground and the arms out, letter T. With your right hand, you're going to press yourself onto the left side of your body, opening your left shoulder, bringing the left cheek down on the mat, make sure the head goes down, and then bending the right knee, step the right foot behind towards your left side of the mat. Just two breaths here. Making sure this is okay for your shoulders, the head stays down. Maybe, again, you can use a pillow or something under your head, around the neck, if you feel like it's a little bit uncomfortable. Any props you have around the house, staying here, making sure everything works together with your body, never against one more breath and then when you're ready come back doing the same on the right side to extend I'm going to keep a cactus arm still okay and then with the left hand press yourself all the way to the right side of your body opening that right shoulder and stepping the left foot behind you towards the right side of your mat making sure the right side of the cheek stays down on the ground and again this should feel okay for your shoulder just breathe so four corners of my left foot are down completely my left knee it's pointing towards the sky just two three breaths on this side as well relaxing the shoulders breathing into the pose Just two more breaths. One more. And then slowly press yourself back on the mat, coming on the belly with the hands on top of each other, resting the forehead on your hands. It's a belly resting pose, a very easy pose, but with very great benefits. So try to bring yourself back to your breath bring yourself back to the practice relaxing the shoulders 
surrendering to the mat for just two breaths. One more. Going back to the question, what do I really want to attract in my life? What do I truly want to create for my life? And while most people will think about maybe a bigger house or more money, and if this feels like a dream too far for you, and you feel like it's impossible to reach, maybe you need a little bit more practice, more rituals around the new moon, full moon, and believing a little bit more. And then eventually you will see how things starts to shift in your life. And again, coming back to what I just said, if you think those are too big of goals for you to bring into your life, to plan the scenes for, maybe you can start with smaller goals, like I will commit to a walk after dinner every day, or I will commit to more yoga, asana, and meditation in my life. I'll practice more self-awareness, Start with small goals. Maybe I will release sweets and chocolates for my life and see how it's working. Beautiful. When you're ready, inhale your head up. Bring the hands in line with the chest and press yourself on the knees. Hands and knees, bringing knees in between your hands and sitting down. Extending the legs in front of you. And then when you are ready, bending into your right knee towards the back. You're gonna lift your calf muscle, making sure your right heel is outside your hip so you're not coming into the right inner foot. Now, if you are leaning too much on the left, that's why you have a block to place it under your left hip so you're equally sitting on your sitting bones. After that, you're gonna bend into the left knee and bring the left foot on top of your right thigh, making sure your left knee is down. And if, again, the left knee is hanging, maybe you have a second block, place it under your left knee. Left hand comes behind the back, reach with the fingers for your left big toe. And if this is not available, you're gonna use a belt for that. Inhaling your right arm up. On the exhale, you're gonna bring the right hand on the left knee and twist towards the left, turning the chin and gaze towards the left shoulder, only as far as you can go not collapsing in the lower back, not collapsing to the left. Just breathing here, two, three breaths. Complete relax in the facial muscles. Complete relax in the upper body. Two more breaths. One more. and coming back to center, removing all the props if they are there, releasing the pose, and with control, extending the left leg in front of you, leaning on the left and extending the right leg as well, bending the right knee in the other direction, coming, preparing for a Janush Shasana, sole of the foot inside the left inner hip, neutral spine, you're going to face your left leg, flexing your left toes, inhaling your arms up, and exhaling you fold, making sure shoulders remain in one line, and you keep the upper body away from the lower back. Two breaths here. One more. And then slowly inhale, you are coming out. Extend the right leg and we do the same on the other side. Bend the left knee to the back, lifting the calf muscle. Left calf muscle to create some space in your left knee. Heel outside my left hip and I am equally sitting on my sitting bones, bending into the right knee, right foot on the left thigh, knee it's not hanging, use the props if you need them, right hand at the back, help yourself with the left hand to reach for those toes, this finger around the big toe, and when you are ready, inhaling left arm up, exhaling, you twist towards the right, left hand on your right knee, turn the gaze and chin towards the right shoulder, Staying here for a couple of breaths on this side as well, making sure you are completely okay with the pose. Once again, reminding you to use the props if you need them and letting the breath to come in the pose always, reminding you that when the 
effort disappears. So in this case, make sure you're not tensing your body, you're twisting just from the shoulders. It's not hurting anywhere. Then you hold the pose and benefits comes in. Just two more breaths here. One more. And then when you're ready, release everything. Coming back to center, extending control right leg in front of you and extending left leg out of the pose, bending the left knee in the other direction, sole of the foot inside your right inner thigh. You're facing your right leg, flexing your right toes, neutral spine or inhaling your arms up without bringing shoulders with you and exhale, Janu Shirshasana. On the other side, keeping the shoulders in one line, using the belt maybe again, for your right foot around the balls of the right foot to hold if your arms are not reaching yet for your right foot relaxing your upper body just two breaths here exhaling one more and then slowly inhale you're gonna come out and extend the left leg as well next to the right bringing the feet together toes together inner legs together flexing the toes once again arms up inhale neutral spinal and exhale Paschimottanasana fold remove any roundness from your upper body shoulders away from the ears before you fold completely not rushing to bring the forehead down just making sure you inhale upper body away from the lower back before you fall. Not using the hands just for support. So not tensing your upper body while you do this. Maybe soft bending through the knees if the back of the knees hurts. Not hyperextending. Or using the belt once again. Since you have it today, use it for your pose. Making sure you place it on the balls of the feet. One more breath here. And then slowly inhale. Come on up. Crossing the legs in front of you with the right leg in front of the left. Once again, upper body inhales away from the lower back and fold again. Bringing the hands in front of your forehead down. Surrender. Keep the sitting bones down on the mat. Don't let the sitting bones come with you. Lift up off the ground, pressing them down and use a block under the forehead if the floor is too far. Just two breaths there. Shoulders are completely relaxed. One more. And then head up on the inhale, exhale, walk the hands towards you and change the cross of the legs. Left leg comes in front of the right. Inhale, upper body away from the lower back and exhale, walking, walking, walking forward. Sitting bones remain down. A block can be under the forehead if you need it. Relax the shoulders, keep them away from the ears, surrendering, moving your mindset towards that part of your yoga practice where you try to meditate a little bit maybe bringing the awareness back to your breath preparing yourself mentally for a couple of minutes of meditation maybe you can light some incense candle in your space that will help and then when you're ready inhale head up and exhale walk the hands towards you extend the legs back in front of you once again maybe pointing toes forward and back a few times coming forward on the mat without collapsing or dropping lean back and hug the knees into the chest once again rocking yourself from side to side closing down the eyes and then when you're ready, inhale there and exhale, forehead to the knees. Releasing 
for your final Shavasana, extending the legs out in front of you, bringing the palms to face the sky, drop the feet heavy on the side. You can stay here, covering your eyes for five minutes, or you can come into a cross leg seated position, into a meditation pose, maybe leaning on a wall in the room, if you think you need it. So you make sure you're not collapsing in the lower back, taking a very comfortable pose for your final meditation or relaxation pose. Just breathing and bringing back into your mind that question, what does my heart truly want to attract? What do I really want for my life? And then without forcing yourself, maybe even later before you go to sleep. If you haven't got the answers yet to the question in this short few minutes of resting here, just try again. When you go to sleep, writing down this question on a paper, a piece of paper, fold it and place it under your pillow. You might dream about something maybe, or you might receive an answer by the morning when you wake up, reminding you that the true answers, I don't have the answers for you. Nobody will have, not your family, your friends, nobody. The true answers to these questions are right within you. So look for the answers within your heart. Stay here for as long as you need. Take this time. just to rest and to navigate into this one simple question. Once again, you might rest there as long as you need. Or if you feel ready, just move your toes and fingers, coming back to your room, bringing feet and legs together and arms above the head, giving yourself a nice stretch. And then bending knees, turn to your right side, make a pillow with your right upper arm, or bring the left hand in front of you. And if this doesn't work for you, you might do the same on the left side. Keeping the eyes closed just a little longer. And maybe with that left hand in front of you, press yourself up into a cross leg seated position. Bring the hands at the heart in Namaste. Breathe here, just two more breaths before ending today's class. In complete stillness. and at peace with yourself, with the here and now, with everything around you. We're gonna end the class here before we do that. I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here today and practicing with me. Thank to yourself for always, always showing on the mat for yourself, never giving up on yourself and always honoring yourself in a very positive way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May this new moon give you the answers you need, the answers you're looking for, more clarity and peace. The divine light within me honors the divine light within me. Namaste.